So it turns out you were all correct. You've been saying it in the comments for months now. Streaming TV just ain't what it used to be. The channel counts are growing along with the cost. And with all of this new big bundle, they were supposed to be skinny bundles before, but with all of this, it's starting to look and smell and act and feel and cost just like our old cable subscriptions. And so this is probably why Sling TV's growth has slowed to a trickle. And DirecTV Now, forget about growth, they are shrinking at an alarming rate. But these are the former kings of streaming TV, right? What gives? Are they really not worth it anymore? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're also going to pit them against each other. We'll look at the state of both Sling TV and Direct TV now so that you can decide, hey, if I am choosing between one of the two, who's it going to be? So let's dive in. So first things first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you're notified when we're back here every Wednesday and Friday with a new video much like this one. Now, let's start this video off with a nice, juicy, kind of boring quote from Richard Greenfield of BTIG Research. Legacy media's forced bundling tactics continue to put business models and profits ahead of the consumer, which is always a long-term losing proposition. Indeed, translation here is that these streaming companies are not giving you what you want, and so you are not giving them your money at the rate that they were hoping for anyway. And that really bears out in the numbers. In quarter one, the first three months of this year, Sling only gained 7,000 subscribers. Now, it is a gain, but that's a far cry from what they were doing a couple of years ago. And DirecTV Now, like I said, they are losing subscribers hand over fist. 83,000 subscribers lost in that same time period. Now, this isn't as much as what they lost in quarter four of last year. That was over a quarter million subscribers. But still, 83,000, that's nothing to sneeze at. They're losing a lot of subscribers. So do the numbers really tell the right story though? We should probably look at the fact sheet for each one and then decide. Now, first up is DirecTV Now, where at the lower tier, you can get that for 50 bucks for about 40 channels. You can up that to $70 for about 50 channels. In either case, you're gonna get HBO built in because AT&T is the parent company of both. So they can kind of mix those two together. So that's nice at least. And They've now got a bunch of Viacom channels in there as well. So you've got uh, MTV, VH1, Nickelodeon. These are some good channels uh, that they fit into their package as well. So that's nice. Simultaneous streams, you get two at no extra charge. You can get a third simultaneous stream if you need that for an extra five bucks a month. Uh, and then there's the DVR. The DVR is maybe the funniest thing about DirecTV now because after about two years of DVR service, cloud DVR, it's still in beta, ladies and gentlemen, still in beta. What you get at no extra charge is about 20 hours of recorded footage, and you only get to keep those recordings for up to 30 days. Frankly, I would expect a lot more at this point from DirecTV Now than a beta testing, still in beta DVR, but whatever. The other funny thing that I ran into as I was doing my research was on the front page of their website was a nice chart that shows you how DirecTV Now stacks up against the competition. And for today's purposes, we're especially looking at the Sling TV column here. And frankly, I thought that on DirecTV Now's website, Sling TV came out looking pretty good. And DirecTV Now even messed up the numbers in there. So the simultaneous stream for the Sling, Sling Blue package, they list at four, even though it's only three. So they're actually making their competition look better. Well, what do you do? But that brings us to Sling TV, which you can still get for 25 bucks a month if you get either the orange or the blue package. If you get the combo, then it's gonna be 40 bucks a month. And yes, I'm ignoring promotional pricing for the moment. Now, like I said earlier, you can get three simultaneous streams with the blue package. It's one on the orange package for if you get the combo. Now, Sling's DVR, you do have to pay for an additional five bucks a month but in this case, you're gonna get 50 hours of recording, which I still think is pretty low, but certainly a lot more than 20. And in a recent change, you're now going to be able to keep those recordings indefinitely. You can keep them as long as you want. And also, this was kind of cool, I thought, if you cancel Sling TV, which of course you can do anytime with any of these streaming TV providers, if you cancel Sling TV, you can still keep your DVR recordings for up to 30 extra days. I thought that was pretty neat. Now, on the channel side of things, there is no HBO. Not just is it not built in, but there's no option to get HBO because AT&T owns HBO and DirecTV Now and they wanna keep it over there. They don't even give you that option on Sling anymore, unfortunately. 
And Sling does have a few Viacom channels like Comedy Central and BET and Nick Jr., but it doesn't have some of those big name ones like I was talking about over on DirecTV now. So to me, it's kind of easy to see that Sling has a pretty good value compared to DirecTV now. I think they kind of win out on the objective measure. But if your subjective measure is HBO or some of those Viacom channels, then it might be a different outcome for you. So ultimately, head to head, it's easy for me to give the nod to Sling on this one. Yeah, it's not quite what we were looking for when we all cut the cord a few years ago, but at least they still give us the option of a $25 package, so we can still save money with them. Now, on the DirecTV Now side, if you are a diehard DirecTV Now subscriber, I would love to hear why. I don't say that with any judgment. I'm actually really interested, so hit the comments below and let me know why you stick with DirecTV Now. Is it the free HBO? Is it simple inertia that you've been with them for a couple of years and it's hard to switch over to somebody else? Hit the comments below, let me know. On your way down, guys, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you really enjoyed it so that you can be notified every Wednesday and Friday when we're back here again with videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.